Hello and welcome back to Little Saints on Sunday. I hope you've had a lovely week and enjoy the service today. Please join in with our Little Saints on Sunday introductory prayer. I start with thanks and then give praise for all your kind and loving ways. To God who kept me through the night and wake me with the morning light. Help me, Lord, to love you more than I ever loved before. Amen. It is time to clear your throat, take out your favourite instruments and join in with our first song. At that time, there will be something in the sky that shows the Son of Man is coming. All the peoples of the world will cry. They will see the Son of Man coming on clouds in the sky. He will come with great power and glory. He will use a loud trumpet to send his angels all around the earth. They will gather his chosen people from every part of the world. The fig tree teaches us a lesson. When its branches become green and soft, a new leaf begin to grow. Then you know that summer is near. So also, when you see all of these things happening, you will know that the time is near, ready to come. I tell you the truth. All these things will happen while the people of this time are still living. The whole world, earth and sky, will be destroyed. But the words I have said will never be destroyed. Now is the time for the reflection on today's Bible reading. Hello again. Now I wonder what your favourite books are, your favourite kinds of stories. Do you like The Adventures of Harry Potter or Frozen? All sorts of different books and stories, aren't there? Now I have with me today a very, very special book because it's full of all different kinds of stories just in one book. Can you guess which it is? Well done. It's the Bible. And it's God's word to us. God gave us the Bible so that we know what he wants for us and for his world. Now, if we open it up, it is full of all different kinds of books and stories. There are poetry stories, 
stories of love, mystery stories, what's happening, <laughs> adventure stories, and stories of wonder and amazement. All in one book, one God-given book. Now, stories of wonder. We have a wonderful world to live in, don't we? God created this world just for us. Do you remember the story of creation? God giving us light with daytime and nighttime and land and sea and animals and fish and reptiles and birds and man, Adam and Eve. And he gave us crops to grow. It's just absolutely wonderful. The God-given world and we can read about it in the Bible. Now there were people in the Bible who just praised God so much for his wonderful world and for what he did that they wrote special songs and poems. They're in the book of Psalms in the Bible. And a lot of them were written by somebody called David. And they were called Songs of David. And they are beautiful. And they just show the wonder and the amazement of the world God has given us. And then adventure stories. Do you remember Noah? Absolutely. Noah with his ark. My goodness. He had an adventure, didn't he? All the rain coming, the floods coming. And God said, build an ark and take the animals in twos and they will be safe and your family will be safe. Now that was an amazing adventure for Noah. He was a bit scared, I should think. But he knew that he needed to obey God. And he was saved and his family and all the animals. And then there were mystery stories, weren't there? Mystery stories. Can you remember the little boy with his picnic when Jesus was speaking to oh, a huge crowd, 5,000 more people? And he didn't have food for them. And they hadn't brought their picnics with them. But there was one little boy who had a basket with his picnic in and he had five loaves and two fish. Not very much for 5,000 people. But they took the basket to Jesus. And when he thanked God, he blessed the food. And you know, the disciples took it and there was enough and plenty left over. 12 baskets left over for everybody to have enough. So that was amazing, a real mystery how it was done until you realise it was done through God. And then there are some really wonderful stories of love in the Bible. And the best story of love. Yes. Jesus on the cross. When at Easter time. Do you remember at Easter time, Jesus was taken before Pontius Pilate. Couldn't find anything wrong with him. He hadn't done anything wrong. But he was given to the people to crucify. And so Jesus died on the cross. But because it's amazing, God does just wonderful, amazing things for us. He gave us Jesus back again. Jesus was resurrected. New life so that we know Jesus now. We can talk to him in our prayers. He will guide us. His Holy Spirit is there to show us his love so that we can share Jesus' love. And that is all, all in the Bible. Most amazing book ever. And we thank God for the people who wrote it, who put it all together, so that we can now, every day, 
read and know God's word. Amen. It is time to clear your throat again. Get out your instruments and join in with the next song. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe his spirit too comes to teach me what to do. I believe that I should be kind and loving, Lord, like thee. This is our confession. Today we can say sorry for our faults and failings and ask God to help and forgive us. For doing things which we knew would hurt others, Father, forgive us turning away when we should have listened. Father, forgive us for allowing ourselves to be drawn away from you by temptations in the world around us. Father, forgive us. Jesus, thank you for your love and for your forgiveness of our sins. Amen. Dear Jesus, you know it's school holiday time again. We pray that everyone connected with schools will have a good time and be happy to return and look forward to the rest of the term. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we recently celebrated Harvest Thanksgiving, thanking you for your creation of this wonderful world and celebrating the work everyone does to enable us to buy food. There was a great collection for the food bank. We pray that these donations of food help to feed those who, at the moment, are struggling to provide food for their families. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, you are a big God. Sometimes we sing that song and do the actions as well. This is our way of saying we love you and we are, ve we are so very, very glad to be part of your family. Help us day by day to share your wonderful love with our friends and families. Amen. This is our final song today, so really enjoy it by singing as loudly as you can.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.